I graduated from IIT Bombay in yeah. 2016 in civil engineering. I got my first job as a financial trader in Amsterdam. I was like, okay, what is happening with my life? Right? I did not enjoy the work I was doing. I was looking at a screen for 9-10 hours of the day, eating at the desk. I had five minutes to fill my yeah. plate up to eat my lunch. And I was doing that from Monday to Fridays. What's happening? I started crying. So my name is Sagar Mandhani. I'm from cohort seven. And currently I'm a product consultant and I'm trying to create a lot of new things. So that's where I am at. What are the new things that you're trying to create? So I'm working on drop shipping, looking at that model right now. I'm working on creating a SaaS kind of product. I'm also working on looking at you, like creating a community. Okay. Probably first and then creating products in part, as part of the community. So I'm exploring all of those different areas right okay. now. So you haven't like... Uh, boil down on like one thing that you want to do you kind of exploring on what else you want to do on your own right I at the start of this year so last year uh, around September October uh, one year back I quit my job okay um, and then I was like okay I want to start looking at consulting and doing something around those lines right and have more control over my time right so did that uh, did a few consulting projects uh, since the start of the year uh, and then what turned out was, I realized the market is not that ripe right now for okay. consulting. Yeah. So, okay, now I think probably I have to do something of my own. And that okay. is why this exploration phase is going on for the past uh, two, three months now. Fair. And so, what kind of jobs are you looking for exactly? So, I was looking, so I was talking to uh, a, a founder of one of my previous companies. Right. And we talked about their problems around processes. Okay. And now I'm very interested in on AI and learning about AI. Right. So, I was like, okay. Is there a possibility that we work together and join in as a process manager or something right. around those lines? So creating new roles. I love creating new roles. That is nice. something I love to do. So uh, that is one. But if I don't do that, then probably join in as a product person in some startup. Understood. Like, what were you doing before this? So it's been uh, very <laughs> up and down. This, okay. It's been an sure. <laughs> interesting right? Uh, I started off, so I graduated from IIT Bombay in yeah. 2016 in civil engineering. I got my first job as a trader, a financial trader in Amsterdam. I was I was always that kid who's like, okay, I'll just go with the flow. Right. right? Okay. And that is where uh, this opportunity came up. I was applying to consulting jobs and uh, trading jobs. Right. And this came up and they took only two people from India. And yeah. So in the interview, I was very calm because I was like, okay, I will not go in. I will not get in. So I was yeah, calm. Yeah. I, okay, I fair, have. fair. So that <laughs> is where states. I think that worked better in that nice. sense. Um, so that and that job, I was like, okay, now my life is set, right? That yeah. is the template. Yeah, of course, I mean, you get to go to Amsterdam for your first job. Huh. So it was, and again, it was a template, right? Ki you study, then you go into IIT, then you get an international job, right. which is high paying. Yeah. And then you're sorted. You There's yeah, yeah. no worry in life. There's no worry. Yeah. That is how the, the picture is sold to you. Yeah. Right. And I kind of bought that picture. Uh, even though I always had a bit of imposters, but I was like, okay, if everything good is happening to me, maybe I am smart. Nice. Right? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. But then I guess that illusion also broke, broke down in five months. So I was there for five okay. months. Uh, and after five months, I was like, okay, what is happening with my life? Right. Yeah. I did not enjoy the work I was doing. I was looking at a screen for nine, 10 hours of the day. Uh, yeah. I was eating at the desk. I had five minutes to fill my yeah. plate up to eat my lunch. And I was doing that from Monday to Fridays. And it also, it was a bit depressing because it was winters in Amsterdam. Yeah, so, I've, I've heard like it can be really tricky like in these countries, right? Because it's cold a lot of times. So it was cold. It was raining all the time. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's Google says uh, temperature is minus one. Yeah. But feels like minus eight. Oh, damn. Yeah, because of the winds and whatnot. Uh -huh. So it's not snow. I would have, I would have pre uh, uh, preferred snow. It was <laughs> rains. Rains. So it was yeah. cold water coming yeah. on your face and you're leaving house at 7.38 a.m. And it's dark. Yeah. So Monday you are leaving in the morning. It's dark. And when you're coming back, it is dark because they're like, sun the daytime is three, four hours yeah. or five hours in the in the middle. That kind of, I think, broke me <laughs> a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I was from IIT Bombay, which is like the best college in the right, country. Right, of course. And if I am feeling like this, that I don't know anything. Right. And there were a few instances in the middle as well as we went, went for an internship to as a civil engineer, right? I went for a civil engineering internship. I tried that out. I was like, okay, I do not Where want is to. this? So this was a, a place. I am from Bhopal. Okay. And I got this in, uh, this internship in Bhopal, 
okay. they were building a whole again society and complex and something like that a, a huge thing called right. a place called gaman if someone is around bhopal they know about it i went there for two weeks and in two weeks i realized what i was being taught and what was being done on ground right was drastically different right. we did not we did not even taught about building materials then i moved to a, a, like i moved my internship to a financial analyst internship in the same summer right that is what got me to this uh, oh, okay. trading job so one weekend so this moment i specifically remember okay uh, this was the 14th of jan 2017 okay right so this was a saturday so i had two weeks of this gruesome thing right. happening before that i had gone on a 10 day euro trip oh nice theek hai chalo at least you got to do that i mean so i, I, I did lining. that and then after that i was like okay this trip feels nice i think i have a break it will be right. better right. things will get, turn up of better course. and then two weeks i was like okay i i don't feel that good like this is so draining and saturday i am uh, in my house looking out so we had an amazing house there was a canal in the front the trees in front of the house in front of the house Damn. right in the center of amsterdam like yeah, this yeah. a company given accommodation oh, amazing right so i was sitting there and looking at the water flowing and there was some daylight the, like like the light right now yeah, yeah. right there's no sun at that point of time and i was just looking at it uh, thinking about what my life is what's happening yeah. and i started crying and that was the first time i had actually cried yeah right it just felt like like real tears i might have cried before that but it just felt from the inside there's something yeah. inside which was hurting i was like what is like i cannot tell anyone how i'm feeling right right they'll call me stupid hmm. right you're living in amsterdam you're earning a lot of money right and like you do going on your trips like you're partying you're doing all of this stuff yeah. from the outside this was like the dream life of course of course i was not feeling happy and i was like okay this some like what do i do right and they did not even have a next day. like what do i do yeah right i cannot quit my job because again i'll be called stupid that you have such an amazing okay. a- everything right i had no idea what i wanted to do with life right. um and monday i go to office and we are called into a meeting about performances of mm-hmm. performance review th- stuff happening and that is where kind of they were like you don't seem happy and i was like i'm not happy <laughs> yeah, yeah, and okay, we had so that you, whole discussion yeah, yeah, we had that whole yeah. discussion very like mature discussion where like yeah. okay if things are not going to change i think i'll leave okay right that is what the conclusion of the discussion was that is when i came back to india okay like, okay now fresh start right for the first time out i am outside that like a structured environment yeah. of you know what you have to do right? right earlier it was like school college get a job right right i was like theek hai i'll figure it out kuch to kar lenge iit bombay ka tag is something which it, is it, it helps right okay like okay i'll talk to few people understand right. what's happening but for the first time i was like okay i need to figure out what i have to right. do right ki i i was always going with the flow yeah ki jahan god will take me i'll i'll go right. i'll perform right. try to do my best hmm. um and then like in a few weeks i start talking to people and i realized okay the market situation is bad because this was right after demonetization right right okay? right so the campus placements for iit bombay students were anyway not happening that much okay. did not happen a lot of people just took one person as a token they right. did not want to ruin the relationship of So I was like, oh God, okay. Yeah. So this yeah. is a harder market to kind of come Pretty into. Sure. Plus, again, I'm going as a fresher again because I have I'm, right, I'm, I'm right. want to change industries. I don't want to. What did you want to get into? I had no idea. Okay, but like you were sure that you did not want to be in finance per se because that huh. was a bad. I think that was right? huh. So that kind of had a traumatic <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of, of thing of at that point of time. I don't want to get to this. Yeah, at least yeah. I tried it out right. and I realized this is not something Probably. which I want to do yeah. right now. I had that point it was like I would want don't want to do it ever. <laughs> But yeah, we'll get I mean, yeah, we'll get yeah, to yeah, it. <laughs> so yeah, I did that I was like okay, let me try something, figure things out. Right. At one point I was I was also filling forms for Teach for India. I like okay, okay I like, let me do something. Yeah, But yeah, I was at home for 2-3 months and that was kind That's of good. a very uh, kind of depressing period or where like where right. I had to kind of be go into very deep self in, introspection. Right. Ki, okay, what do I want and what do people want? Yeah. Then again, it yeah. went into what is happiness, what is like that. But whole, at that point, you did not want to start anything of your own. Like you were not that in that mindset. At least you did not. Ah, uh-huh, I mindset. I think I felt like I did not know enough. Right. Not, I, yeah, I don't no. know anything. Right. At that course. point, I was like, ki, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imposters and everything kind of just came back. Right. Ki, I was like, okay, finally, like every time I felt like I'm getting lucky, I'm getting lucky. This is yeah. the time where I like, okay, I might have got lucky to to get to where, where I am. Right. again imposters classic Aha, imposters now i know <laughs> classic imposters <laughs> now i know yeah i okay. kind of after the answer and thing i was like okay i would want to 
and i read i, I was started reading a lot started meditating meditating a lot and i was like what is it my control i want to kind of figure all of I'm those sure. things out till i figure out what i want to do with my life yeah. at least now no one cares about me <laughs> i can again take what well, i was supposed to take i always planning to take a break right ki what to yeah, do next yeah and my understanding was if i want to increase impact i realized the problem was not with probably uh, like helping people people who need help yeah. for people who are giving help essentially founders and like Understood. leadership so yeah. i was like okay i want to kind of do something around that space so you wanted the company to have some kind of an impact goal in some way ha huh. and for better place the idea was impact right if you get people more jobs right, it course. will increase your revenue so it felt it like was it, a, yeah. it was the right thing but again when you are when you have that sales mindset selling hmm. becomes the goal right rather than actually that product being the right product hmm. and actually solving the right problem if you can sell and you can show that you are doing the right thing right. probably takes precedence over actually doing the right thing like is that was the culture also at that hmm. point of time for a lot of startups Fair. right he growth yeah. growth growth you're just showing yeah, that you are adding value everyone adding value at that time just wanted to be seen as someone yeah. who has like getting more vc funds and like you show that you have right. more numbers right. higher numbers so i took a break uh, then i was like okay i wanted to explore and then as uh, i got into spirituality at that point okay. of time so i was going into self help and all of that already habit okay. building and stuff right and this 2020 was supposed was the year where i was introduced to um this leader called ramdas but again spirituality as a whole understood uh and then covid happened so i was like okay what am i am listening to and learning in books uh as leading the geeta like all the different different books so i was like okay i don't right. want to be restricted to one model right. i want to understand zen and all of this and everything i was reading i could see a lot of things work like happening in the real world right because understood. covid was happening so you could see chaos right and when you see chaos and you read about chaos essentially mm-hmm. because mental chaos essentially you're reflecting outward right. and you see that how things are going bad in the world and stuff like that and then in november 2020 two of my ex colleagues from better place they were building this spiritual wisdom app at okay. that point time called being b e i n g so they want they were raising some friends and family around and they approached me as well ki hey like we want to invest right and i told my dad that again he was handling my finances at that point okay. of time so i told them ki that i would want to invest some money yeah. into these people and my dad flipped ki you're not working yeah yeah <laughs> not you're not making any money and like and he was like okay what is the share then like why yeah. do you want want to like do like very very logical dadly thing to do ha huh, and at that point of time i was emotional ki okay i like these yeah, guys yeah 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 i understand the space is be- getting bigger because of covid like the right. industry had opened up um, people understood the importance of working on their own like, spiritual side and things like that and mental health so that was like if you are interested why don't you work with them hmm. and i had that conversation with these guys and they were like okay we you can join us we are looking for anyway looking for someone on the product side right so why don't you join us okay again they'll be like I had a very small equity percentage in my, in that sense, a small percentage. But for me, it was like okay, I'll get a base. Right. So these guys were for a senior. One of them was a head of design uh, at Better Place, um, and the other one was a engineering manager who had worked at Qualcomm and stuff. Oh damn! So it was like okay, these are senior folks. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like they know their stuff. And I was like okay, at least what I'll what I'll get that freedom to create what I want to create. Right. Without having that headache of like burden of kind of mm-hmm. taking care of everything. and that kind of is the right environment i'll probably be able to bounce ideas off um and so i joined them in december 2020 and in 3 months like me and varun uh, who was the head of design the the, the ceo right. co-founder there we sat down every day uh, and yeah we're just talking about life right human yeah, suffering yeah. human life jobs to be done yeah jobs to be done right. with a product like this right. like what do people want what are different aspects in 3 months we uh, what we decided doing was okay we understood the problem went mm-hmm. deep into the problem like okay let's design something and start wireframing stuff we created these modules called interactive meditations okay this is like a 10 minute module essentially mm-hmm. uh, play on meditation right. which was like very passive you put on your phones in meditation right and then you close your eyes and do whatever in your own head so whatever was happening in your own head we wanted to have do, have you do it outside your head right right ki you have a, so essentially started with a thought right ki i don't feel good right now is a thought okay. my family doesn't understand me is a thought hmm. right essentially these are the places where people got stuck in meditation understood right ki when you meditate and these thoughts keep com- coming back you are like i don't want to meditate right. like my parents don't understand me is a thought which you would not want to meditate yeah, to yeah, because yeah. now you're talking to them every day right right so you picked up those thoughts ki this is the point where you start 
rather than it being the point where you stop yeah. at meditation okay. you stopped at these points ki okay the my brain is running right. too much so you started at like this thought and it had a bit of breathing bit of journaling asking you reflective questions right, right? uh and being like there's some uh, other tools which we could use now we had smartphones so you have front cameras you could open yeah, your front yeah, camera yeah. if you smile at yourself for 10 seconds it will give you some points and like make you feel give you some hearts you smile right smile a bit so these small ha- the habits which i was working on all this time right making them micro right very actionable in the moment and now they're solving a problem for you in the moment so there's instant gratification also But, plus long term the yeah. more you work on yourself it's a, the delayed, like so the, basically you just wanted to give people smaller wins so that it they it it becomes easier for them to make it a habit right right, right? And plus it is now coming in from at, at the point of pain right right so essentially right. the trigger is already there in your own head right right and you just see it outside you feel like okay this app understands me there's a, that empathetic element as, as well hmm. so we did that we launched that uh, and then kind of things started going well in that sense of people started using it users started using it then we started we integrated a chat Uh, interface to understand more from the users where they get yeah. stuck there was a, a lot of drop off right ki people opening the app to people starting the first mini therapy 50% people are not there okay people like signing up to actually completing the onboarding was 50% drop right. off then onboarding to first mini therapy mm. so there was 50% drop off across the board as well we got this chat thing and when we started chat in two weeks we had this chatbot where people could come and chat and we could then understand their problems right right six there were six seven people in the company at that point of time everyone was chatting with users morning to night yeah that many requests or people whatever. wanted to talk yeah people okay. wanted to express people wanted to talk about pain and the right. things that were happening and this was again now the second wave has started this is 2021 of around course. may april may 2021 right. right and people just and they like okay we are actually solving the right problem hmm. probably not solving it the right way we are figuring things out right. but we are solving there are people who need of course i always yeah, I mean, knew yeah. it i always knew it but again uh, we got a few interns and stuff to handle this whole team and we started calling this team the mental health friends okay right these are your mental health friends where you can right. talk and be right. friends with we right. do not want to have that whole therapist therapy like the yeah, whole yeah, thing yeah, yeah, of friends hmm. and then in the meantime we are looking at fundraising okay um, and i think there were some issues we not be able to raise funds right we had all our funds had exhausted okay. the fund i had also invested in initially right. before i joined in, i invested as well okay so the all of them were exhausted not getting paid right and i started again having that imposters right okay right. like i build this up and, and it, now there's no fund working. like it's not working like it can die down right. any time and then i guess in the middle when uh, varun was doing the pitching uh he realized okay we cannot go with the interactive meditation as the hmm. word because again you have to explain meditation to people and right. investors so we switched to mini therapies okay so it became like a mini therapy okay right and this messaging changed to mental health eventually i kind of started feeling i was doing too much in the company okay uh, and i did not have enough time to learn about mental health because right. i had not studied psychology at that till Fair. that point of time Fair. i was not introduced to that right so i started going into that spiral of mm. i don't have time to study this but i don't i don't trust my gut into making decisions right uh and eventually we got some investment but personally i felt like i am not the right person okay. to kind of lead the next phase understood in the product side because mm-hmm. i i did not have the gut uh, to kind of make the right decisions there all in all then i moved uh, we had the discussion that mm. like you, you're talking to people and i'm doing that whole people thing right now we are expanding the team So I said okay, uh, is there a way? Can I like they pitched that you are good with people? Do you want to do something around the people and culture right. side things? And I'm like this sounds perfect, right? Yeah. Now we are building a mental health app. You would want the culture inside the company, the people inside the company to be able to work on their own mental health, and that becomes the scalable element, right? If right. people inside understand mental health, they are working on the mental health, right. then they can create the product which can help other people, right? Right? It's like a whole ripple effect essentially. Yeah. So I felt that was the re- night next move for me, um, and at that point of time, we also were awarded the Google Play India's Best App for Good Award. Oh damn! In 2021, this was the first full year. Yeah. And this was the product I built. Right. In a way, right? I thought it of from course. scratch. So that was kind of like a point. Okay, okay. Something which we build is actually being recognized in right. such a way because again, this is not a paid award or something, right? People. could get awards and of stuff course. recognitions on newspapers and stuff happens quite a lot <laughs> right ha yeah. but here it also was users giving going in in the play store giving reviews feedbacks the five star reviews 
So I was reading reviews a re few days back as well for my own portfolio of building yeah. something. So I was like cropping those reviews and it felt so nice that yeah, people yeah, are like, yeah. this is the best app I've ever yeah. used. So around April, I realized, I thought I need to upskill. Hmm. I'm feeling there's some issue I need to learn. Right. And that is when I guess Stoa came in the picture. Okay. Right. I saw Stoa uh, things around and I was like, okay. Before that, I had given GMAT in the middle, right? I had given GMAT okay. and CAT. Right. But I always, again, because of the whole resistance towards classroom education, because like yeah. I don't want to move away from the world for two years. Hmm. And then come back and realize that what I was taught and what how EOL operates is there's a resonance. So I did not want to kind of invest so much money uh, just going outside. And I was like, okay, I already have a brand name with me, right? Yeah. That whole IIT Bombay tag is already there. So I don't want to go for a brand. Like it's, the idea is not for going for a brand, which people typically go to an MBA for. Of course. Um, so I was like, okay, what? And then the store came in and then I talked to my company. Okay, I, need, I think I need to uh, upskill. Hmm. Would you be able to kind of... Uh, I was handling the people in culture, right? And we had created an unlimited learning policy. Okay. So I kind of pushed it to the edge. Right. Right. Ki, would you be willing to kind of give some part of this to our thing right. um, and luckily Varun was like okay uh, we'll give 50% and you pay 50% yeah. and we, we'll work with that and that is how I joined Stoa um, and it felt like again ki okay um, I'll have my weekends and I'll, le I'll learn on the weekends I'll have kind of new people coming in and that also became like a way to learn and apply okay? Monday to Friday I was anyway working uh, so hard like I'll work on, I'll study on the weekends and apply it on the weekdays. So that right. is experiential learning essentially, right? Rather than me having to go into a classroom and do hypothetical things. Mm. This is real learning being applied next day, right? I'm right. having a session on Sunday, Monday, I, I have a different mindset to mm. the, the problems I'm seeing in front of me. So that also gave me a lot of confidence because mm -hmm. earlier there was a, that whole imposter thing which was coming in every time in my head. Right. Um, this time here, I felt kind of right at home because it felt like everyone recognized in everyone who had joined Stoa recognized that they had flaws right right and everyone was very open talking about them hmm. so that was a great thing which i realized plus it was not i was i had friends who went to harvard who went to wharton and stuff right i have Plus, very IT close bombay graduates right? so very close friends who had hmm. who are in all of these places and I, I think i when i thinking of all those places i always felt ki, oh god i would fool again feel like an impost, imposter when i go to a place like that right right so here, it, that pressure did not, I did not feel that much pressure. And also, I think that whole IIT Bombay tag also gave me some confidence that I would open my mouth. Let's see what comes out. Okay. That's all of this experience which I have had till now. I'll see how it pieces together in like a structured framework. So that is what five months of Stoa gave me. Place where I could experiment. Um, place where I could say what I thought was right. And actually being validated or invalidated. Right. Right. And being okay with being invalidated because again it's a learning environment right right and i'm not uh, and again i'm taking all of that learning back into work hmm. where we're building a mental health app so you have to build something which is conscious we wanted to build something which is good on fundamentals right. taking care of people and again things went up and down uh, but it was like a great five months and eventually at being we let go of 50 people that whole mental health friend wow. team which has started yeah kind of ended because the model which we were looking for again now we had to focus on monetization right. and that model was not scalable hmm. because every user wanted to talk to someone and right. it was not a scalable model right um, so we had to let go of that team um, and then i kind of ended with deep reflection and i realized okay i think i'm now a better person holistically hmm. and i take hurting therapy as well and now coaching through stoa as well so right. there were some coaching bits here so all of that kind of made me realize okay I think now I'm in a, a well-rounded, I've been doing that for the past uh, eight, nine months. And in July, in like three, four months back, I sat down with a few friends. Mm -hmm. okay, let's now look at a few uh, other industries. So now I started exploring styling as an industry, mm -hmm. personal styling, because I look at talking about mental health and self, and then you go into projecting yourself. Right. So that became is, is, is this becoming like a big industry overall, personal styling? Like I've seen, like I I know like a lot of friends of mine are also kind of getting into that hmm. space somewhere. So just wondering. I I feel again, as the market shifted after yeah. downturn, people start the thing of what people will spend on in the future. Okay. Shifted to what people spend, what do people spend on right now? Okay. Right for me in my own head, that's how I look at it. Okay. And I see people spend on styling right now. I spend on my clothing right, right. now. 
even when i'm not earning in these past 12 months personally also right. i'm spending on clothing okay right i'm get even if probably thoda sa reduce ho gaya but other things i'm letting go of of course of course what do i wear uh, like what are the shoes clothes x y z Right. I'm seeing ads on Instagram and stuff, and I'm I'm spending that. I think we'll go with what next. What should we expect from Sagar? <laughs> Near future, me I am also I'm looking at communities. Communities I feel is a good way to build things. Okay. Right. Having that initial user base who would be interested in getting your right. stuff, and then launching things there. Hmm. Um, that's something which I'm interested in. I'm now looking at helping people create secondary incomes. Hmm. And for that, I'll probably. Join something where I have a primary income, so I can work on this on the side and kind right. of be more experiential. Um, do a bit more, uh, be more a bit more active on LinkedIn and social media. Hmm. Share what I have accumulated in the all these years, right? I right. always felt like maybe I, this doesn't matter, but the more time goes on and things go wrong, and I'm like, okay, whatever I learned is important to kind hmm. of share and help other people do that. So that's that's uh, hopefully coming in. Um, long term again building building stuff man building useful things uh people helping people be happier or at peace and essentially what can what are those things if i am not building something which you can buy i am buying i am building something where you are spending your time so essentially buying with your time right again using right. seeing me on social media as you spending your minutes on hmm. me so i want to give more value back understood uh, that is essentially again life about with about like i think of life that way that i'm here for some time i don't know how long um and i would want to give what i have learned hmm and probably take something from you right with your attention your time your experiences um and create those spaces where we can talk right as people right and then everything else business and everything will keep on happening yeah. right you'll keep learning you'll never stop learning right so do store but store will end you do your mba mba will end you do your job that job will end yeah. i've seen all of that happening you have great friendship friendships will end right so uh, but what happens in those moments what you get out of them um, how present you are in those moments is what matters so yeah okay that is again from <laughs> <laughs> signing off sagar <laughs> signing off <laughs> <laughs>